Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. So guys, we're finally back to Aurora. Uh, this is the part of the reaction where I always sound like I'm confessing to a Catholic priest or something. It has been four months since my last Aurora reaction. Um, so here we are. We have Heathens up to bat here. We're going to do a double header. We're going to check out the studio version in this lyric video. And then we're going to check out uh, this live performance. Uh, both of these are Vivo videos, so I'm sorry in advance if they get blocked for visual content and if I have to put words, uh, usually her name, over the little video's box. Now, this is a request, and I know you guys were asking uh, me to check out live. I'm hoping this is the right one that you guys want. Um, yeah, we're going to go with this one, just for simplicity's sake. But um, this is going to be for my friend, just Julie, uh, Exchange. Uh, all these names. It's been a long time since I reacted. Getting a little bit of nostalgia seeing you guys, uh, your comments. So anyway, uh, so for Just Julie, Exchange, Onion, Johnny She, and Coyote. Thank you guys for this. And um, yeah, this is a, a song that, as usual, I checked the old wiki here. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. I did look at the lyrics. I kind of highlighted my favorite part of the lyrics here. But, you know, this wiki uh, tells it you know, from Aurora herself, she tells it better than I could ever explain this. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So Aurora said to the Australian radio station Triple J that the track is inspired from the classic tale from the book of Genesis. A long, long time ago, Eve took a bite of a forbidden apple hanging from the tree of evil and good. In her act of doing so, she granted humans free will. I just think that is very beautiful, and I wanted, I wanted to honor her and women like her who little by little granted us freedom in this world. A freedom to live as we please, to explore and taste. I think life should be lived in all sort, in all of its colors, and that is why we live like heathens. She later explained to Apple Music, the mother in this song, she offers love and room and a home to all the people that aren't welcome elsewhere. That's the spirit of this song. It's very inspired by women, especially how many women have been punished and burned just for being women. It is an ode to women. So, yeah, that I, you know, that like I said, she said it better than I could. It's pretty clear in the lyrics. The very beginning here is definitely uh, telling the story of Eve and the apple. Um, and the part that I liked most that I highlighted, I'm just going to read this real quick. We cry the fallen names. We cry for those who burn beneath the flame. We stand besides the good and brave, the broken and enslaved. And that is essentially what Aurora has always been about, as far as what I've known of her. Um, so accepting of everyone, you know, taking in the unwanted. Um, I know this song is mainly an ode for women, but she does mention it's also about, you know, taking in people that aren't welcome anywhere else. So not just for women, but mostly about women. And what a beautiful thing that she's always uh, incorporating her, you know, the way she lives in her music. So anyway, let me quit blabbing. Let's go ahead and jump in. I'm excited for this. Here we go. Aurora Heathens. <laughs> She bargains with the world So everything she wants will come to her With no greed inside her mind She knows what she deserves I don't think I've ever seen an Aurora lyric video We fell from sky with grace And landed in her soft and warm embrace She gave her love, her gift of life So we could live with her Guitar harmonies, vocal harmonies. Ooh, nice vocal ease there.
there. Okay, okay, hold on. This is like the halfway point of the song. Let me just, uh, before I forget some of the thoughts in my head, let me do a commentary stop here. Absolutely beautiful song so far. Um, you know, it's kind of weird that this show stars because that's what I'm thinking of this this song. It just sounds like this kind of uh, fairy tale, dreamy like um, vibe to it. And as always, you know, Aurora's voice is beautiful, and it's it's hitting me like a fairy tale. It's talking about you know, and knowing what the song is about too, kind of does help you know enforce that image, but. Wow, what a beautiful song. I didn't expect any uh, of that cool percussion that we just had in this second verse. On um, the first verse, I was really taken by the um, the guitar harmonies. At the same time, she's doing vocal harmonies. That was so beautiful, man. Um, let's keep going. I think we're entering the bridge of the song. on that guitar. Whoa. It sounds like you're listening to music stuck inside a giant bottle or something. That's such a weird and cool effect, man. just I'm lost in wonder at the outro of this song man wow this was very beautiful um Aurora heathens wow this is uh this is I, I feel like I say this a lot but this is so different than some of her other songs like for instance and forgive me if I'm you know incorrect on this correct me if I'm wrong feel free you know hate on me but um this sounds like a reggaeton kind of beat like the uh, 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 which I've not really heard in her music before until this song. Yeah, I've never heard that kind of beat in her music before. I don't think. And that's really cool, man. Um, yeah, but this chorus, such a beautiful chorus. I was getting lost in it. Um, very beautiful song. Now, I, I gotta say, I absolutely am in love with that very first uh, chorus, where it was just the that beautiful acoustic guitar, two of them, and then her singing the chorus. Let's see. So beautiful, man. Um, but the entire song as a whole, wow, what a journey. Very beautiful song. It was like you were going through a fairy tale or something. And yeah, you know, this lyric video may be subconsciously making me feel like I'm going on a journey because we see a bunch of stars. Um, very beautiful song, man. Wow. 
Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this live version. Very eager to see what's going to happen in this one. So here we go. Uh, Aurora Heathen's live performance. Before we launch into it, let me just see what it says as far as um, where this, it doesn't really say. Okay, well, I don't know when this was exactly filmed, but here we go. Oh, here we go. Vivo Studio, Brooklyn, New York, 2021. She bargains with the world so everything she wants will come to her with no greed inside her mind. She knows what she deserves. I'm sorry, but is that a really small room? Like, because they're sitting down and it's like they're already halfway. I don't know. I'm tripping. We fell from sky with grace and landed in her soul and warmth. I was tripping, that's a normal sized room. Okay, so I know this is live, which let me first off say, very beautiful. But is there like a pre, -re there must be some kind of pre-recorded backing track of her doing the, the harmonies. But wow, this sounds excellent, man. in a song before. Dude, that's so crazy. Wow, it sounds so crazy. Which, by the way, I like how this song winds down. When I heard it the first time, I was like, it can't be over. Because it's a weird spot to end on, but I just love how this kind of uh, winds down to a complete stop in the song. But only if you give your Yes. Pick it back up. Obviously she has a backing track, but 
her voice was still flawless for her doing, you know, uh, the main part of the vocal performance. Uh, absolutely amazing. And what a beautiful song. Listening to it twice is kind of like let it sink into my, my brain better. And uh, I said it near the end, but she always has like the most catchy uh, chorus lines. Uh, master songwriting, man. Um, very beautiful song. I like the message. And uh, again, I want to point to my favorite part of the lyrics here. Uh, we cry the fallen names. We cry for those who burn beneath the flame. We stand besides the good. We stand, maybe that's wrong. Should we, we stand beside the good and brave, the broken and enslaved. But what a great line, man. Um, yeah, uh, Aurora, Heathens, live performance. Wow. Um, beautiful song, man. This is going to be the second one that I've heard from the, uh, the gods we can touch. And uh, yeah, this one was such a banger, man. Very catchy. It's good. This is like an earworm too. It's going to be stuck in my head now. Um, our, let me go ahead and wrap this one up though. Um, we need to get some more Aurora on the channel. I need to kind of blast through this album so I can experience it. But um, if you're still here in this video, thank you for your patience and uh, hanging out with me and taking the time out of your day for this double header. Uh, if you have not heard Aurora for some reason, go check her out. And uh, if you have any other songs you want me to check out, please let me know in the comments. Thank you guys. We'll see you on the next one.